Here's the part where life gets a little confusing. A lot of the formulas that we have in this class, there's going to be different symbols and slightly different formulas for sample and for population. We've seen this is for mean, mu equals, add them all up, divide by how many you have. But this is if you're finding the whole population. If you're doing just a sample, we have a different symbol. X with a bar over it, X bar. Luckily, you find it exactly the same way. But X bar is the mean of a sample. Mu is the mean of a population. It works the same for standard deviation. The symbol for population is this wacky circle thing. It's also called sigma. And the formula is the square root of that sum divided by the number of values. We've already done this. You've seen this in the examples. For a sample, however, we call the sample standard deviation S, and the formula is a tiny bit different. The important difference is instead of dividing by n, we divide by n minus 1. That's the difference. Now, This is the Greek letter. You say mu, and it's wacky u, and it's the population mean. We tend to use Greek letters for population values and regular letters for sample values. So, we've learned three Greek letters. This is mu, this is lowercase sigma, and this is uppercase sigma. This one means add them up. This is population standard deviation, and this is population mean. So, now you know the difference between the sample and the population. Let's find a sample standard deviation. So now we're going to use the sample formula for standard deviation. We're going to find the standard deviation of these numbers using the sample formula. How do you know which one to use? It depends where your numbers came from. Did you ask everybody or did you pick a sample to ask? In practice, the sample one is the one that people use a lot more often, unless you work for the Census Bureau. What's the first step? Find the mean. 
Now, of course, it's x bar because it's a sample. So that works out to uh, 20 over 5. The mean is 4. What do we do next? What's the next step to finding a standard deviation? Yes, that great big table. With your data written in the first column. In the next column, you do x minus the mean. The mean is 4. So that's going to be a negative 3, negative 2, 0, 2, and 3. What do we do next? Yes! Square them! The sign's really not all that important here. You're going to square them anyway. What do we do? Add them all up. When you finish squaring, add them all up. 26, yes. So next we take the formula. I'm missing a Greek letter. We divide by n minus 1. What's n? The number of values, which is 5. Twenty six over four, that's thirteen over two, six point five. What do we do next? Take the square root. Two point five five. if you round to the nearest two decimal places. So this is how we use the sample formula for standard deviation. It's exactly like the population formula, except we use a different symbol for the mean, same math, different symbol, and we do minus one on the bottom.